Today we're taking a look at the 2018 Subaru Legacy Limited with EyeSight. This one's powered by the 3.6 liter six cylinder engine. So it's got 256 horsepower, tons of power in a sedan of this size. It's a very popular choice. The Magnetite Gray is great, hides dirt really, really well. At the back here, you can see 3.6R. Of course, it is an all wheel drive vehicle since it's a Subaru. And we do have those rear backup sensors. Those are those little circles in the bumper. They'll actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. Essentially right underneath this star here is the unlock button for the trunk. And it is quite a sizable trunk, plenty of room. You can fit two or three salespeople, a couple of goalie hockey bags in there and some luggage. No lack of room in these. If you need more room, you can pull these to unlock the seats to fold them flat. And if you ever got stuck in your own trunk, you do have the glow in the dark trunk release. Moving up to the second row. Plenty of room, good headroom, great leg room for the passengers. You can fit up to three people. If there's only one or two, you do get the fold down armrest with the dual cup holders. And of course it is the leather upholstered interior because it's the limited. The outer two seats do have heated seats, high and low for both outboard passengers, two USB chargers and vents out of the center console to keep the second row cold or heated depending upon the conditions. Of course, with the limited, you do get the tilt and slide sunroof. You get the proximity key, so you do have the ability to lock it by pressing the lines and to unlock it so long as the key's on your person, you just put your hand in the handle. Very, very easy to use. Up front, we have power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. Two position memory settings for your power driver's seat. And we do get the Harman Kardon audio system, phenomenal audio system. Of course, that power driver's seat, including lumbar, very, very comfortable seats. They've got some good bolstering, holds you well in the corners if you're taking them a little faster than you normally would. On the inside here, by the driver's left knee, you have the ability to open the rear trunk. You've got the scroll wheel for the brightness of your gauges. You can turn off traction control. You have blind spot detection, which illuminates the little lights in the side of the mirror if someone's gonna be in your blind spot on the corresponding side. We've got the ability to turn off lane sway assist and we have automatic emergency braking. So these two are controlled by the two color stereo eyesight cameras that Subaru has. And that automatic emergency braking saves you 10% on your basic insurance here in BC. Now on the steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. These buttons right here will change this small center display, gives you compass, what you're listening to, fuel economy, outdoor temp, time, most people like the digital speedometer. As you can see, there's currently 31,100 kilometers on this car, not a lot of kilometers for the age. The right-hand side, we have our adaptive cruise control. So the cruise control that follows the vehicle behind you at a set distance if you, ca if you catch up. And you have lane centering, which I've just turned on there. And if the two color stereo eyesight cameras can see the road lines above 60 kilometers an hour, it will actually help keep you in the middle of your lane with gentle steering input. The all important heated steering wheel. And we do have paddles, upshift and downshift should you want to select your own gears, which in this car is a blast. Subaru's easy to use infotainment center. It is all touch or you have the buttons on the side, but maps, navigation comes with it. There's no monthly subscription. It's free for life. You have it. CD player is hidden above the screen there. This is also our backup camera, put it in reverse. You can see the rear assist braking's active, parking sensor's active, and it does show you there. You can just see the top of the bumper. The home button also gives you access to apps, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You can hook your phone up for Bluetooth, lots of things to change. Heated seats, three stages for both the driver and passenger, high, medium, low and off. It is dual zone climate control and it ranges from 18 on the low side all the way up to 32. Freezing and tropical, depending how you and your passenger like it. It displays here where the airflow is. Every time you press mode, it'll change fan strength, and then if you want a single temperature because your passenger gets out, you just hit sync. Little storage cubby down here, two USBs, an auxiliary, and a 12 volt. You've got media storage, you have the two cup holders, electronic park brakes, and then hill start assist. And then the best feature ever, auto dimming rear view mirror. There's no switch to flick, it just automatically dims if someone's got their high beams on behind you. And you can hook up to three separate garage doors to the mirror using the home link system. 
So there you have it. That's the 2018 Subaru Legacy Limited with eyesight with a 3.6 liter engine. Come on down to Subaru Prince George, corner of First in Victoria, and check this Legacy out for yourself.